Over the past 30 years, Sir Philip Green has come to dominate the British High Street. His Arcadia retail conglomerate includes Topshop, but also other brands such as Miss Selfridge, Evans and Dorothy Perkins. But the British High Street is changing. More and more sales are migrating online. Sir Philip faces competition from nimbler upstarts such as ASOS and Boohoo. Topshop's become an expert in connecting with its young customers online and through social media, through Pinterest, Twitter and Facebook. But the other brands are further behind. Rivals such as Primark and ASOS are taking more of young women's spending. Obsessed with not wearing the same outfit too many times in their social media photographs, they are buying more but cheaper items from the likes of Primark and H&M. Topshop acknowledges that it has been pushed up market. In a world where online shopping is growing, where the customer is not only king but master of the universe, the last of the merchants faces a fight to remain relevant to today's connected shopper. Sir Philip bid for and failed to acquire M&S twice, once in 1999 and once in 2004. Although he came close to victory the second time, he walked away. As Lord Rose, Sir Philip's old adversary, who was brought in to see off the second bid notes, they will write that in his obituary. He bid for M&S twice and failed. Sir Philip Green sold BHS for a pound in March. He says it was a difficult decision, but it's also one that has far-reaching consequences for the retailer himself and potentially for the rest of the Arcadia group. BHS has just secured an almost £65 million loan to overhaul its stores, which, like this one, look rather tired. Sir Philip still has an exposure to BHS through a £40 million loan and through having hundreds of his other brands inside BHS stores. With 11,000 employees and a more than £100 million pension deficit, the fate of BHS will be crucial to Sir Philip's reputation and his legacy as a British retailer. This is Andrea Felstead, The Financial Times, London.